Hey guys, it's Whitney from the Holiday Homestead. Um, I am doing another video about our change from, uh, I guess, being on grid to off grid. So, um, one of the questions that we've been working on is how to do laundry. Um, so laundry actually was a pretty big question for me, actually a lot more so than the toilet bathroom situation. <laughs> um, because, you know, you can use an outhouse, but you really want to have good clean clothes. And um, if done kind of the really hard way, laundry can be very difficult and with lots of heavy <laughs> lifting and stuff that is just really annoying. And also your hands get cold if you're doing laundry when it's cold out. So, um, so I really wanted to make a, a, a laundry system that would work. Um, and what we decided on was kind of a mixture of things. Um, so the very first thing about the laundry system that we're working with is um, the wringer. So I realized that, you know, we can get the clothes clean, but whatever we're doing, whether it's line drying or, you know, whatever else, um, it definitely would be sped up if we had a good sturdy wringer to get as much water out as possible. Um, now I've used a laundry line for years. I mean, clothes lines, I think I've almost always had a clothes line of some kind or other um, because we live in California. It's very hot here. So in the summer, the laundry line would almost work even better than a regular electric dryer um, because it's just so hot and so dry <laughs> that things dry very quickly on a line. So that's not too concerning for me, but um, well, at least I've done that before, but um, getting the clothes um, wrung out was a big deal. So I bought a ringer and I'll show you which one we got. Okay, so this is it. This is it. It is a brand we got off of um, Amazon. So um, originally it was, I think, 209 and I didn't want to spend that much. Um, and then it went on sale for 159 So I was really excited. And so I went ahead and bought it. So um, let's have a look and see what I got. All right. So... So the main components of the ringer is first the handle. There we go. So we'll just set this stuff out so we can see everything. And then lots of directions here. Do, do, do. So this is the drip plate. And this one is really important because it means that when you're wringing the clothes out, the um, water is pushed away from like whatever you're you're working with under your tub. So if you have a clean uh, water over here and drip water over there, you're not wringing your clothes into more dirty water, but it actually like tilts it. So anyway, we'll see that. Do, do, do. All right. Ooh. So it's kind of heavy. Hang on here. So this is the ringer. And, oh gosh, let's just put this down because this thing is really heavy. And here's the tools and, and all this. So there is on the directions, there is a video here when you scan it with your phone or whatever. Um, it comes up on Facebook, I think. Anyway, and I watched it um, and it's very easy. It's self-explanatory, kind of. Um, so yeah, let's just get started with it. So, um, all of the lab, all the parts of it are labeled, which is nice. And so this thing probably weighs about, I don't know, maybe 30 pounds. It feels pretty heavy. Um, all right. Okay. Okay. So, um, when my ringer arrived, these clamps were already um, attached this way but um, in order to get the um, little drain pan not drain pan drain thing on it says to clamp it to a surface um, and it kind of helps relieve the tension so that you can get this pan on so uh, I'm going to clamp it to this table here and so um, another reason why I really like this 
ringer is because these um, stabilizers are adjustable. So I'll show you, I can get this one off. It'll take a little bit of doing, but. Ooh, there we go. And it comes with Allen wrenches. You'll use those, the larger of the two Allen wrenches for these stabilizers. And so it is the bolt and a washer. And you want the washer because um, it helps you to be able to move this around. Um, so there's holes on this side here if you want to clamp something um, like a table like this. But there's also a hole here if you want to clamp like the side of a, a tub. So then you would sit it this way and do the same motion, just to, um, tightening it up. So that's really cool because it means um, you can use either tabletops, you can use the side of a bucket, you can use, um, like ours, we're gonna use the size of a, of a stock tank. Um, so it's really nice and uh, it's pretty well made, nice sturdy metal, which I like. All right, so I'm just gonna line up the holes there. Sorry, washer, bolt, here we go, let's try that. That and that goes on like that. And then you just put it right in the hole there. And I just try to tighten it with my fingers first, if I can. And get your, the larger Allen wrench. And This does take a little bit, but I don't really mind because I don't anticipate moving this ringer very often. It's basically just gonna stay on the side of the stock tank and just be there. All right, okay, so that's tight, yet still has a little bit of play. All right, so now I'm gonna take the whole thing. I'm gonna turn the stabilizers towards my table. Okay guys, so we had to change a couple things. Um, so we started with um, this um, ringer on the side here. We were gonna clamp it to this straight heart, this straight section here. Um, and <clears throat> it worked okay, except that um, the handle would be blocked by this side of the tub. So we realized we had to move it to the end here. Um, and that's fine. And then my husband had a great idea. He put these um, blocks here because the lip of our tub kind of curves in and we didn't want this plastic to be crushed and crack, but you also want to have a really tight hold on it. So he put these uh, wedges of wood under there so that we could tighten it down really hard and um, not damage the tub itself. So. All right, so and now, because we have it on the end here, and if you notice, this is curved, but it still um, holds really well because these, um, these uh, stabilizers, these clamps, the feet are, um, cur are kind of uh, adjustable, flexible, I guess. So um, it holds really tightly to almost any surface, which is really nice, um, and it's got a good firm hold on it. Um, and because we got it at the end here, now my crank, my handle will, will work. 
And that's really cool. Anyway, okay, so the rest of the setup, uh, we need to put in the tension adjuster here, and then we need to put in our pen for dripping the water. Um, so this is pretty easy. You just kind of put that in there. Okay, and actually I'll leave the plastic on because it keeps them nice. But so basically this is a very simple adjuster. So if you look under here, see this curve under here, that widens or um, I guess what call it, bends. Um, so this screw top here pushes down on this kind of concave piece of, of metal here. And that's all it does to lessen the tension between these two or increase the tension. So another reason why I like this ringer is because it's just very simple. Okay, cut. Hello. You haven't met me yet, but I'm Jared. I'm the husband. She told me to do this part. I don't know why. <laughs> and now she's rolling her eyes at me. There you go. Alright. So, we actually stopped and read the directions. It says that this is, does not seem like it's going to fit, but it does. So, we'll see. And, oh, okay. And it said you have to get both sides in at the same time, or else it will not work. Oh, there we go. Go. Awesome. Oh, and you can rotate it the other way and it has tension on it both ways. Cool. Alright. So it also, it comes with this little rubber wedge that, because you see this, you just barely tap it and it's going to drop down so your drain's going to be coming down the wrong way on your feet. So it comes with this little wedge. I wonder if you can put like a little cord through there so you don't lose it and tie it off. But then you just put that whichever side you want it so that it doesn't come down on you anymore and then you just yeah I think probably just put a little string or something through it tie it off to one of the handles so that you can drop it and not not lose it and just put it in when you need it okay so here we go it's set up I've got my tension adjuster um, it's all stabilized on the on the tub and Jared put in the little wedge thingy so that it doesn't so that the fictional water doesn't come down the side of me um i'm not gonna do laundry right now but i have a towel so we'll see okay so it says just to put things in straight so you don't like you know fold it or anything um and then all I'm doing really is just pressing it against this bottom one. I'm not really like shoving it in there with my fingers because these rollers are actually pretty grippy and they will kind of stick and grip onto the clothes. So I'm just holding it on this bottom one and then just start rolling and then just let it go. Now my big concern with one of these was uh, worrying about the clothes getting caught up in the corners here um, but these corners are really smooth and even if it does get kind of wedged in there, it's really easy to pull it out. But you can see this is uh, 14 inch um, rollers, so they're nice and wide. Okay, so this is the tub. We've got the, wash the ringer set up on this and now we're ready to make this an actual draining tub. Um, so the idea is to put um, a, uh, um, a fitting on the side of the tub. We decided to put it where it's flat here and then um, kind of towards the bottom. Um, not on the bottom, like on the bottom from the inside because this is the fitting we're using and it's just um, uh, um, see compression gaskets here and then it's just internally threaded. So this portion is going to stick out and if we had it on the bottom like that, you'd have to reach under the tub to turn to open the valve to drain the water. So we decided to just put it on the side here. It's going to sit right here, or actually a little bit lower, right about here. Um, and we got drill bits that are going to, this is um, three quarter inch. And so we're hopefully going to drill through this plastic 
and not crack it, hopefully, um, and, and I fix this so that we can put um, a garden hose on here and then it'll be like outside. We'll just run outside and then when you're done with your bath, you just turn on or open the valve and the water should drain out. Um, this will not be affixed to the floor. So if it's not draining out all the way, we can always tilt it a bit more to get it to drain. Um, this is not, this is the outdoor tub situation. Uh, when we get a bit more sophisticated with the indoor tub, um, we'll probably do it a little bit differently. But this is what we have for right now. Um, and we're using this tub or this stock tank because this is what we have <laughs> from our dog. Um, and so, yeah. So the first thing I want to do is I want to heat up the plastic. Um, I've drilled a lot of plastic before and you know, there's a wide variety of ways this, this could go. Um, so I figure if we can just get it warm, it's a bit better than um, drilling it when it's cold because right now it's about 40 degrees outside. So it's, it's not freezing, but you know, it's chilly. Anyway, so, all right, we'll let the water All right, so, got a hair dryer. Let's see how this goes. About right there, or a little bit lower. Um, a little higher, because it does kind of curve up. Um, it's gonna hit right about here. Okay. That's not at all the right size. Could have died about something. Right size. Hello. So we got it in, but word of the wise, we've learned this many times and we've just learned again. Amazon is good oftentimes, but sometimes you gotta double check the measurements of what you order because it wasn't the right size. We drilled the hole. Then I had to use knives and razors and stuff to cut it and get it all to fit because it wasn't the right size. But it's in. Yay! So. Clean off the plastic bits and. Small and tight, or not tight. Hmm. Well, I think it's tight. And if it leaks, we'll put some silicone around it. <laughs> cool. And then, do you want to put the fitting on? Yeah. So, this going here?
Actually, could you explain about plumber's tape? Because I don't think I quite get how to put it on in the right direction. I, I mess it up half the time and I have to redo it because it, I don't know. But you got to put it on in the direction of, that it's going to be uh, screwed in. So this is going in this way. So you basically need to do it so that whenever you're throwing it, threading it in, it does not catch the end of the tape and just pull it back up. So this one's going to go this way. Are the kids saying there's dogs? Loosen up this now. Couldn't have picked a worse spot to put this <laughs> for the <laughs> for the pliers and stuff. Should work. Are you still recording? Oh, oh, hello. That should work. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, guys. We're filling it up. We've got the ball valve thingy. What do you call it? The fitting <laughs> on the tank. And so we're going to attach. Um, a, um, a garden hoses. That was one of the reasons why I wanted something really simple like this fitting was because um, I wanted to be able to hook up a standard garden hose to it um, because when this is all enclosed and we have our outdoor bathroom kind of done, um, this is going to be sitting in the bathtub side of the room and then we're going to have the hose here and it's going to run out a knot hole through to the outside hopefully into the garden because I'd really like to be able to reuse the water um, but anyway it's, so it's really important that this fits a garden hose um, so it doesn't you know doesn't look like a bathroom fitting but it works okay so so we're gonna put that on here Oops. there it goes all right and the water is just above our little fitting and it's not leaking. Yay! That's good. Okay, that's very good. Cool. All right, so um, Porter, can you go turn off the water? It's a luxury. Turn on the, on the water. We're not going to have that soon. No, we won't, but... It's nice while it lasts, hey. <laughs> All right, so. So this will basically be how we do our laundry. We'll have the water and um, let me get my little towel. Okay, so, so yeah. So basically we're just gonna wash the, the clothes in the tub and then, let's see, and then run it this way. Do you want to switch the tray so it runs back into... Oh, yeah. Good point. Let's go. Okay, so we'll move the little foam thingy. Where is that? There it is. So we'll move that to tilt the water this way. We'll wedge that in. Okay. And then, take the wet clothes. Kind of lay it out a little bit. Press it on here. I can do 
this way, huh? <laughs> There's a ton of water coming out of this thing. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's, it's still kind of damp, but it's it's pretty good. Cool! Not dripping or anything. No, yeah. not dripping at all. There's barely enough water in there. There's I got a little bit more out. But we could also tighten this down. And yeah, maybe we could tighten it down. Cool! Well, guys, I'm really excited. That actually worked. Um, yeah, this is cool. And then, of course, when we're done with this, then we'll open that. Now yeah, the hose leaks. Oh. oh, well the hose leaks, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's probably my janky way of putting that on. Okay, and then... Okay. In theory... Water should <laughs> come out. Come out. I guess we'll wait for it. We got water. We go. Yay! So, you happy? <laughs> I just need Very to happy. Okay, so we tried it again, but this time we tightened this down a bit more. So it was about that much up, so we tightened it down maybe halfway to get it a little tighter. Okay, so we're gonna try it again. And Porter's going to <laughs> turn this. Okay, go. Not even a drip out of it. Not even a drip. Yeah, not like a little. Uh, there's nothing. I feel it. Nothing. Cool. Well, we got dry clothes now. <laughs> I mean, not exactly dry. All right, so this, yeah, this would be perfect to go on the line because it's, I mean, there's not dripping anything from it. And um, this would dry really quickly. Cool. Yeah. And I want to see. Did any water, look at this, no water even like managed to find its way out. So and if we did have this inside the cabin, yeah. it's going to be nice and dry. It would just, it just all flowed right back in. Cool. Well, we're going to, well, 